Hello, kiddo! Sir ESC here, and today we're going to talk about law of inertia, focusing on balance and unbalanced forces. <laughs> According to law of inertia, a body will remain at rest or in a uniform motion unless an external force is applied. That's why we need to differentiate the concept of balanced force and unbalanced force. In each of the example, you have to remember that there should be a pair of force. So therefore, if we have a balanced force, they do not cause a change in motion or this pair of force are equal in size but opposite in direction. So therefore, the net force is equal to zero. While unbalanced force, the pair of force always cause a change in motion and they are not equal and opposite. For us to understand this, let's have this illustration. In here, we got the applied force and the column for the net force. Let's try to analyze each situation. As we check, we got a pair of force in here. Palagay na natin na dalawang tao ito na ihila sa block of maybe metal na ito. Let's say, for example, one person is exerting 5 newton, which is a force, while the other person is also exerting 5 newton on the object. Since they are on the same direction, we know that this object will move forward because of a net force equal to 10. So what we did here, we just added these two forces exerted. And so the net force is 10 because the direction is the same. And with that, that certain block of metal or that object will move forward. And this is an example of unbalanced force. Let's have the second example. In here, on the left side, a person is pulling this object, let's say, for instance, again, a block of metal using 5 newton, while the person on the right is exerting the same amount of force. So they are opposite. So therefore, the net force as the person on the right side and as the person on the left side exert this 5 newton each would be zero. So they will cancel out the force exerted by each other because it is equal. Therefore, this object will not move. So it is balanced or at state of equilibrium. How about the third example? We got here two forces in opposite direction as shown by the arrows. However, on the left side, the person is exerting 5 newton, while the person on the right side is exerting 10 newton, which is greater than what is exerted by the person on the left. So therefore, our net force would be 5. How do we get that? We just subtract them, pulling the object to the left. So 10 minus 5, it's equal to 5. Therefore, since there is an equal distribution of force, the body will move 
would it move to the right or left? Based on this illustration, it will move on the right side. Why? Because more force is exerted on this side. And again, this is another example of unbalanced force. Let's apply the concepts of balance and unbalanced force in this scenario. Let's try to answer this. The sketch shows a painter's staging in mechanical equilibrium. The person in the middle weighs 250 newton and the tensions in each row are 200 newton. What is the weight of the staging? As you go through with this chapter, you would learn that the tension and weight are examples of forces. So in this problem, gaano daw kabigat yung staging na ito? So this is a real life application of this lesson. Kasi nakikita naman natin na halimbawa yung mga magpipaint ng matataas na building. So kailangan nilang mag tumungtong sa isang stage or sa isang platform para magawa nila yung pagpipaint. O pwede din yung mga naglilinis ng mga bintana ng matataas na building. So ganito yung ginagawa nila. As shown in the picture, yung rope, they are exerting 200 newton each. Tapos yung tao ay may weight na 250 newton. So, ang dapat nating ma-determine ay anong weight no staging na tinutungtungan no tao. By the way, the ropes are having the tension, which is again a form of force. While weight is another form of force wherein a mass is pulled by gravity. Dahil nasa taas ito or nakalocate ito in a higher elevation, hinihila yung object ng gravity pababa. Siyempre, ang target natin ay mabalance ang staging or else the person will fall. And so, what do you think is the weight of the stage? In this case, we got two arrows that are pointing upward and these are the tension on the ropes. So pareho silang upward. Then, ang weight ng tao at ang weight ng staging ay pababa naman. So ang gagawin muna natin, we need to add this two. So 200 plus 200 newton is equal to 400 newton. And since weight is on a downward position, ang gagawin natin ay ididedact natin ang 250 from 400. So 400 newton minus 250 newton is equal to 150 newton. With that, we got 400 newtons upward and 400 newtons downward. Equal forces, but opposite direction. Therefore, this is now balance, or the person will not fall from this position. Let's answer number two. A different staging that weighs 300 newtons supports two painters. One, 250 newton and the other 300 newton. The reading in the left scale is 400 newton. What is the reading in the right hand scale? Let's try to analyze further this illustration. We have seen that there are three arrows going down. And again, this is the weight of the two person and of the stage. Yung person sa left side is 250 newton, while the person on the right side ay medyo mas mabigat, which is 300 newton. Ang stage ay 300 newton din. Then, ang kailangan nating malaman ay yung 
tension ng rope on the right side. So if the tension on the left side is 400 Newton, paano natin kukumpute din ito? We will begin first by adding all the weights. With that, we got 250 Newton plus 300 Newton and another 300 Newton. What is the result? You get it right. 850 Newton. Therefore, it is the total weight in this scenario. Next step, we will deduct the 400 Newtons, which is pointing upward to 850 Newton. So we got 850 Newton minus 400 Newton is equal to... Hmm, Tama ulit, 450 Newton. Ibig sabihin, yung tension sa rope na to ay 450 Newton. With that, if we got tension that is equal to 850 Newtons and the weight which is equal to 850 Newton, opposite direction, so therefore, it is balanced at hindi mauhulog yung dalawang painters na nakatayo sa staging na to. And that's it. It's the end of our discussion. I hope that you learned something today. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope to see you again in my next teach blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.